Hey folks, so today I have my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and what I'm going to be doing is showing you how you can use the camera on this device to record video directly onto an external USB drive. So this is going to be helpful for two reasons. Number one, being able to record directly onto a drive such as this means that I can then plug this into my PC and edit files in my video editing app directly from the drive without having to copy anything from the phone to my computer. But also if I start to run out of storage on this and I'm recording, for example, 4K videos, then being able to do so directly onto an external drive is obviously going to mean that I'm not going to have to worry about the fact that I'm running out of storage on my phone. Unfortunately, unlike with Apple phones, Samsung have not built this feature directly into their S24 series. So I have had to download a third party camera app, which will then allow me to record onto an external drive. And there are several apps available, but the one that I've chosen is called MC Pro 24 FPS. Bit of a mouthful. It did cost me a few pounds, but it is only a one-time fee. And there is a free demo as well, which gives you access to all of the settings. So you can at least see that you can get this method working before paying a penny. The only thing limitation with the free demo is you can't actually click the record button, but you can at least see that the app is going to detect your drive and that everything is good to go. And I do want to point out I'm not being sponsored by the app or anybody for this video. I'm just giving you the method that works for me. And in terms of what external drive to use, you have to be careful here because if they require too much power, then it won't actually be detected by your phone. So I'm using the SanDisk Extreme Pro. This works absolutely fine for me. As you can see, it's only got a small form factor, but it is one terabyte in size. So in order to get this to work, what I do is just open the My Files app. That's the Samsung app that's already installed on your phone. And then I plug this drive in over USB-C. And then after a moment or two, it should be detected. There it is as USB Storage 1. I should stress I do have this formatted in XFAT because that generally makes it more compatible with non-Windows devices, but I think it would work in NTFS format too. I just haven't tried it. The connection can be quite finicky if you don't have a good USB-C cable here. I do recommend just using the cable that came with your Samsung. That should work absolutely fine. But otherwise, just make sure you have a good data cable, not a cheap USB-C cable. Otherwise, you may have issues. In fact, if you plug your drive in and your phone does not detect it at all, if it just says USB device connected, for example, but doesn't actually show it here as an available storage drive, then the first thing I would look at is the cable that you have used. But now that I can see the drive has been detected properly, I'm going to go ahead and open up the app here. And this app, by the way, is absolutely fantastic in terms of recording videos because it just gives you so many options at your fingertips. But we'll stick to the topic. So what I'm going to do is head down here to the main settings. If you scroll all the way down, then you will find the storage settings option and you will want to select SanDisk or whatever the drive is that you have connected. As you can see, the default setting is the internal shared storage. That just means your phone's storage. So let's select SanDisk and we'll select yes here. For the first time use, it will ask us which folder to create things into or to put files into. I'm just happy to select use this folder, which is going to be the root directory. And then we select allow. If the app closes, it doesn't matter, just open it up again at that point. And as we head back down into the settings, and now once again, we can select the SanDisk USB drive, select yes, and now it's going to have that option enabled for us because we've just approved those permissions. So now when we uh, tap the record button here, it is going to be capturing the uh, video file directly onto the external drive, not onto to our phone storage. And as you can see at 4K 30 FPS, we are racking up the megabytes here, already on about 100 megabytes for this file size. But because the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra has a USB 3.2 Gen 1 port, it is able to support those transfer, transfer speeds without any issues whatsoever. So let's go ahead and stop that recording now. And that file will be directly stored onto the SSD here so I can access it from any computer that I plug this into. Here's just a quick example of me recording from my phone directly onto my external solid state drive. So that's where this video file is now stored. 
So folks, hopefully this little tutorial has helped you. If you own a Samsung device, it doesn't have to be an S24 Ultra as I have got, as long as it's got a USB port that supports the transfer speeds and the power delivery for the drive that you are using, then you can absolutely use this method in your use case as well. So hopefully it's helped you out, but otherwise best of luck setting this up and hopefully it will help you going forward. Thanks for watching.